Hey guys, Michael here from youtube.com slash the revived one at twitter.com slash blue42richman. I'm here with the brand new Nintendo DSi, brand new at least for the United States of America. It's been available in Japan for a few months now. This is the matte blue version, and I'm going to be giving you a walkthrough of the operating system. So we'll press the power button, turn it on. So we'll lower the volume. And as you can see here, the home menu has changed quite a lot. So if you start all the way at the left, you have your system settings. And if we go into there, you have your wireless communication, brightness settings, profile, date, time, and alarm, parental controls, touchscreen, mic test, internet, language, country, system update, and format system memory card or system memory, rather. And again, th right now this is software version 1.2. We'll return to the DSi menu now. Next you have your game. This is whatever game is currently in the DS slot, if you will. Here's the video, ca the camera. We'll go ahead and start that. If you didn't know, the DSi is outfitted with both a front and rear camera. So your album is pictures that you've taken, and camera is pictures that you can take. So we'll go into camera. Now here's the front camera that's right there, and what it's looking at right now. There's just a tripod and camera. So we'll just start with normal, but uh, there's different settings you can apply also. So if you want to apply it, black and white, if you want to apply the color pad, let's say you want to merge photos or whatever, let's say uh, you went over here to graffiti, now there's graffiti on here, so if you went to start, there's graffiti, so there it is. You can draw on your picture as well. Now, this is just before you've actually taken the picture. What I like to do is, or I, what I recommend is, if you actually take the picture clean, because then you can go ahead and add those settings after. But once you take the picture with those settings, you won't have that opportunity. So if we go ahead and switch, you can see what's on the front side of the camera. and Just my computer behind me. So we'll go ahead and take a picture of that. Press the capture button. Then we're going to, we're just going to quit out of that. And we're going to go back and we're going to go to the album. So we'll just click on that picture that we took. We can zoom. We'll zoom out. We'll go ahead and edit that picture as well. So there's a distortion that we can apply to it. We actually just press and we distort it. If we go ahead and restore that, I'll show you again. Distorted. Go ahead and complete that. And then up here it'll show you the distorted image. Go ahead and quit out of that. And then you can again apply those same settings that we looked at before. Graffiti, you can add graffiti. Color. Color pad. Mirror, which is kind of interesting. And then inside of there you can change what the mirror is. If we go to color, we press start on that. You can tap to add color. Quit that. And it's better with pictures that have more more um, color than that. Also, what I've failed to show you is in your album, you'll see pictures that you've taken and uh, also pictures that will be on your SD card. And also you have some settings here. If you want to favorite it, you can press that button. You can do a slideshow or view by sticker up here. So we'll go ahead and back out of the camera application. 
return to the main menu and it'll bring us back to that menu we were looking at before the next thing on the list is DSi sound we'll go ahead and check that out quickly so we can record a sound or play with your music that's on an SD card right now we'll record and edit a sound We'll go to a blank spot, press record. Hey guys, Michael here. Hey guys, Michael here from youtube.com slash the revived one. Stop recording. We'll bring the volume back up. And then we'll go ahead and play that. Hey guys, Michael here. Hey guys, Michael here from youtube.com slash the revived one. That'll just keep hey guys, looping. Michael here. Hey guys, Michael here from youtube.com slash the revived one. And then you hey guys, Michael here. Hey guys. And then you could go ahead and overwrite that if you wanted to. So uh we'll just close out of that. And then you have this where you can add some things to your voice or change it rather, so if you wanted to make it And you have some settings there just to mess around and play. And you have limited amount of sounds and you can also only record for 10 seconds. You have settings here as well. Headphones, tap sound, backlight, just some general settings for that application. Next app is DSi Shop. DSI, DS Download Play Nintendo, and PictoChat. Everybody's familiar with those. So I just quickly uh, did a little update here so I could connect, and we're going to go to Wii Shop, or DSi Shop. I'm going to connect to the internet, of course. So now that we're here, we're going to go to the web. We're going to hopefully download the browser. This is just to give you an example of how downloading a, an application or a game would be. And I like how the block actually fills up as we get closer to completing the download. So the download is successful. We're going to go ahead and go back to the DSi menu. And a downloaded app would just appear right here. You have a lot of space. And there it would be the internet application that we just downloaded. We can open and go ahead from there. So that's just a quick walkthrough tour of the new Nintendo DSi operating system. There will be more videos on the DSi to come at youtube.com slash the revived one if you haven't already subscribed. Thanks for watching. Take care, guys.